Hello and welcome to the Gear Crunch. My name is Deepak Chauhan and today we're going to debunk the top 5 myths about Flipkart. I'm sure most of you have been buying everything from electronics to clothing but possibly still have these myths. So let's begin with number 1 in the list. Flipkart is an Indian company. Well, this is the most prevalent myth about this e-commerce giant. Flipkart has its headquarters in Bangalore, India. However, it's registered in Singapore. Check this Wikipedia page to see for yourself. I'll put the link in the description below. This is a growing trend in Indian startups. There are many reasons why Flipkart and other Indian startups are choosing this route. Number one, huge saving on corporate tax, 17% against India's 34%. Avoidance of double taxation, no taxation on the dividends paid. Ease of starting and doing business, zero corruption. And Singapore is recognized as the global business hub. Okay, so moving on to the number two. Sachin Bansal and Benny Bansal are brothers. Well, they both belong to the beautiful city of Chandigarh. However, they are not related in any way. Interestingly, they both studied from IIT Delhi and worked at Amazon before starting Flipkart. Moving on to three. Benny Bunsell is the CEO of Flipkart. While this was a fact until recently, he was promoted to be the group CEO of Flipkart. The new CEO is Kalyan Krishnamurthy. Now, number four, Sachin Bunsell and Benny Bunsell are the Flipkart owners. This is the most widespread misconception people have. While it's true they co-founded Flipkart, but technically they are not the sole owners. Majority of the shares belong to the external investors. Their combined shareholding is less than one million dollars, whereas its biggest investor, Tigal Global International, holds more than 648 million dollars. Finally, number five and last on the list, but also the most shocking myth is Flipkart products are sourced from various different vendors. It's true that Flipkart sources its products from thousands of vendors, However, you'll be surprised to know that 90% of the products are sourced from its own in-house vendor, WS Retail. WS Retail's 2016 reported sales is 13,921 crore Indian rupees, that is roughly $2 billion. While this is soon going to change as this is not in accordance with government's regulations. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, comment and subscribe for more interesting videos.